Okay, so here we are at uh, your boy Yeti, and uh, we're gonna see how many Furies I can pull off in this fight. Obviously, the numbers uh, in the comparison between the Seraph and the Baleful are gonna be a little bit off, right? Just because this is at a stage 7 Baleful, this is only stage 4. Seraph, when we do the comparison for Seraph, it's gonna be a little bit different, obviously. Um, but um, the point of it is, we're gonna see how many Furies I could use in this fight, and we're gonna do the same for the Seraph Axe, if it makes a difference, if that 8 seconds, right, there's an 8 second difference uh, between the Baleful and the Seraph in terms of the Fury cooldown. Um, yeah, I'll probably have a Fury count somewhere on the screen if I if I can't keep up with it, but uh, just know um, uh, this is it right here, man. Let's see how many Furies we can get, so let's go ahead and uh, get the shit started. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Wow, I really fucked that up. Okay, there we go. So I have no idea how many Furies I used in that fight, but obviously you'll see it, um, you know, on the, the, the Fury count or wherever the fuck I decided to put it in. Um, but uh, yeah, man, that is how many Furies I was able to get with the, um, the uh, Baleful. Now let's go ahead and uh, claim our loot. Hello there, Soul Stone and a bunch of shit. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and now compare it between the uh, with the Seraph Axe. We're gonna see how many Furies we can get with that, and see how much more of the difference is in terms of how many Furies we can use uh, between the two weapons, right? So let's go ahead and have a look at that. Okay, so here we are once again. This time we got the Seraph Axe. We're gonna go ahead and see how many Furies we could use uh, with the two badges, or I'm sorry, with the, uh, the Mystic Badge, as you can see this one right here. Uh, I'm gonna see how many Furies we can use with this one, and uh, we'll compare the results right after that, man. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's get this shit.
Okay, like I said, the results are gonna be a little bit different since this weapon is a little bit uh, lower on the AP side, um, if that even matters. Uh, no, I think the biggest issue with it is that I don't get the Baleful effects. So this is why I love Baleful so much, is that I don't get the additional damage equal to 160% of my attack power. Um, as well as the um, the Baleful effect where it resets the stacks um, whenever I hit the enemy. It, it, it's a little bit different with this one uh, that, I, that I myself actually have to get hit uh, for Seraph to activate. So uh, yeah, so I had to go through the mechanics um, just slightly. Like I think I could have got it, but I think I, I, I fucked up many times on the rotation. So I couldn't get the Primal Force effect. I don't know, I guess I got a little bit too trigger happy, I guess. And I used Smash. A little bit too early than what I was supposed to, uh, but I guess let's go ahead and compare the results with this test and see how uh, how many more furies I was able to proc um, with the seraph rather than the uh, the baleful. Okay, so one last test I wanted to do um, a bit of a PVP or not P yeah PVP situation scenario. Um, since the fact that I do need more badges or, yeah, more tokens to get my badge for the, like, to get the Magnum badge, I thought it'd be a pretty cool idea to test it out in Tower of Infinity. Um, so, usually, uh, let's see, basically the test is how many Furies we can get per match, on average, I guess you could say. Um, I usually, since I've been doing it with Baleful lately, I can usually get about one to two Furies per match. I don't know, it depends, it depends on the opponent. Um, but what I was thinking is maybe we can get a bit of a little bit more furies uh, with the Seraph Axe and not to mention that the Seraph Axe procs whenever I get hit and usually in these sometimes in the Tower of Infinity if somebody if one of the opponents uh, one of the uh, NPCs stun locks me like a BM or a, a Sin or a KFM or something like that um, I'm, I'm usually taking a lot of hits right so if I take a lot of hits maybe the effect maybe the Seraph effect uh, will proc more I'm able to reset my skills in this not to mention the uh, the 360 HP recovery when I get hit so um, a little bit more defense on this weapon um, but the point is we're gonna see if uh, we can go ahead and use a little bit more fury um, in these Tower of Infinity matches, right? We're gonna see if the average of the uh, Fury count goes a little bit more up uh, in terms of more of a PvP situation scenario type thing, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a run a test run on Tower of Infinity with the Baleful Axe, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same with the uh, the Seraph. Of course, the um, numbers aren't gonna be that accurate. I mean, I could easily go into the training room, but uh, I, I, I want the token fragments, so you're going to have to take the results as it is. Just bear that in mind, it's not going to be accurate because we're not going to get the same opponents every stage. Uh, but uh, we're just going to see how many Furies I can proc. Maybe I can beat some record times, I'm not sure. Uh, because obviously the more Fury, the better. I depend on Fury a lot in, in Tower of Infinity, so if I can maybe use that a little bit more, maybe I could... Uh, increase my floor rank. I, I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, uh, anyway, so I got my PvP Bolt I set on, my PvP build. I got 146k HP instead of 92k. Um, so we're gonna see if uh, it makes a difference here. Let's go ahead and get on it! Yes, as you can see, I'm only on floor 49. Nothing special. Nothing too exciting, nothing special. But since nobody plays Dest Destro, I'm 188 in the ranking. It's, I mean, it didn't take that long to get to a pretty decent rank, uh, but yeah, nothing special. Floor 49, nothing special at all. All right, but overall, let's. Uh, oh my good lord, you gave me a soul fighter, you sons of bitches. Okay, all right, soul fighter action. Whatever, it's only floor 31. Let's just have some fun. Let's see what we can do here. Have some fun. Fuck around with these NPCs. Why not? Let's get it. You're no match for me. I watch this, a bitch. Aha! Fuck. What the fuck? He countered it, you stupid bitch. He countered that shit. Oh, come on. Let's go. He countered it. Why you do this to me? <laughs> oh, 
Oh no! Oh! Fuck your kitty! Yes! Can't stop this destroyer! Yes! talking about all right so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try out the uh, the Seraphax we're gonna see if the Seraphax maybe shines a little bit more brighter in the uh, the PvP scenario we're gonna see what we could do I think I explained why um, you know the uh, the stacks tend to uh, the Seraph the Seraph effect procs whenever I get hit so as you saw in the Tower of Infinity of the Baleful I'm taking a lot of hits here and there especially with like I don't know assassins summoners and whatnot maybe it'll sh shed a little bit more light with this uh, this weapon right here we can go ahead and uh, I might be able to reset my stacks when I get hit more so we'll see what happens right it's not like they can't kill me I'm destro destroyer unbreakable or whatever um, but uh, anyway oh hello there hey there person's uh staring just kidding probably not go ahead and take some of that okay let's go ahead and give it a tr give it a shot give it a shot my axe just disappeared now it just reappeared okay okay bam <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, good one. You're gonna stunlock me here. Let's go, Seraph effects. Let's go. Rock me some Seraph. I don't know. Woo! I'm invincible, I got the fucking rainbow star. Oh! Oh! Oh. I can't. Oh. oh wow, six seconds already. Damn, he got the last hit on his flurry. 
Come on. And that's it. That's it for you. A warlock. I feel like I, I definitely feel like I'm using a lot more fury. I think I was able to get like what like three or four in that last match, man. I just I feel like I'm it's it just goes off cooldown so fast. It's it's fucking crazy. Uh oh no, you know what would do that. Because he's gonna launch me up in the air. I should Not bad, not bad. Able to recover. Damn, it's already on 15 seconds. Oh, shit. Fuck it, man. Just use it. Here comes another one. Oh, good one. Let's see. There he is. Not bad, not bad. Okay guys, so that was the two tests as you can see on the screen. I'll put up what the averages were, uh, what, uh, well, how many Furies I can get. As you can see, there's probably a difference most likely. Um, but uh, yeah man, that is the, uh, pretty much I think that's all I wanted to show you guys. Obviously we could have done a lot more uh, with the test, uh, with, you know, test subjects and whatnot, testing it out. Uh, whatever, but I just wanted to give you some brief, um, you know, scenarios, PvE, PvP scenarios of how this, um, how this mystic, mystic badge uh, go, uh, goes and performs, I guess you could say. So, uh, yeah, man, that is pretty much, uh, that. Hopefully you enjoyed that. That is my, uh, my, my overall thoughts. I think this is a pretty decent badge, obviously. Like I said before, it's not the best, and I am gonna go for another one, but as of right now, this benefit right here on my Fury is definitely worth the, uh, the Lunar Twilight Flowers, right? Obviously, if the, if, uh, if I had needed to buy this with Raven Feathers, it, it wouldn't be worth it, but, uh, I could spare some flowers. Flowers aren't too hard to, uh, come by. You know, you just do some MSP, you do your Dawn of kind of Vihar and whatnot on all your characters, and, uh, yeah, man, for the amount of flowers that I paid for it, not bad, not too bad at all. Performs, it performs pretty well in PvP, PvE scenarios, uh, whatever you want to call it and uh yeah man that is the comparison between the two also between the two of uh baleful and seraph we made a seraph axe today hopefully that'll give you a uh, better understanding sorry i couldn't do any of the uh, some shadow action i want i would like to do some shadow action i just gotta i gotta get a, a few more tokens right i gotta grind for some more of those tokens so i can get um that uh, that magnum badge maybe i'll report back to you guys on that a little bit later uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what how this uh, this Mystic Badge performs in both scenarios. And uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more to come. I got much more videos for you guys to see. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all as always. I hope you all are having a very easy day. And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. And I'm out. Peace! Thanks for watching today's video guys, it really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. 
Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you all are having a very easy day. And this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!